everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I wanna work with you guys on my feather leather junk journal that I made with you. It's faux leather and I show you guys how to make it and construct all this together. So if you want to get caught up with us, I will put the playlist on the end screen so you guys come check it out. Okay, and today what I wanna do is work on the front closure. So right here, I wanna work on this closure part and we're gonna do a fun little burrito cluster here and then put down our just our wine cork closure. And I show you guys how to make these. Um, I will put that on the end screen so you guys could come check out this video. And I want to incorporate this and make it a closure. And I will show you guys how to do that. And also, I want to go ahead and we'll do, uh, let's see, I have it right here, my stencil, my feather stencil. I think I want to go ahead and take some spackling here, which this is just some regular, just spackling that I get from a hardware store and it works great. It's just like texture paste. It does a really good job. So I'm thinking I might incorporate that here and we'll add that too. Okay, so let's get started. We got some fun things to do today. Okay, so I have a process video I'm gonna turn this like this. Make sure you guys can see it. Okay. So I have a fun just little process video I did in a time lapse of how I built up my little cluster here. So I will put that on for you guys right now and then we'll come back and talk about it. guys are all caught up on how I just layered this up and I got all my fun goodies out here. So I have some coffee dyed, tea dyed fabrics, some uh, threads, different threads that I've used through pro different projects, um, some different fabrics, some packaging. I got some fun packaging here and uh, just some uh, I did a master board on parchment paper and then coffee dyed all of it and made it all just super grungy. So I threw a little bit of that in there. So I just start off with some coffee dyed and a little rip dyed fabric. And then I took some of my lace here, my coffee dyed lace. I'm just gonna go down a little bit with it. And then just some of my grungy uh, coffee dyed uh, paper that I grunged up with you guys and I'll make sure to put that on the end screen. You guys can see how I did this. It's, it's really fun and easy. So we got that. So I did little strips there. Just kind of pop those in here just for some interest. Um, just some more coffee dyed fabrics. This is like a linen. And then the grungy uh, parchment paper here. Just throw some of that in there. And I got another one here. So I'm just kind of just looking through and see what I got and just layering up some stuff. And then my alphabet coffee dyed fabric. And then some threads. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm just gonna take it and pinch it in the middle. I'm just wrapping the fabric in the back and pinching it around like that. Okay, and then I just have some fabric scraps here. Just put a dab of glue here this around another little 
dab and wrap it around. There we go. And then if you want to do another one just for more interest. go. So we got our little burrito cluster here. Now, since it is a feather journal, I'm going to add some feathers in it. These are kind of fun. I don't know if we want to do a bright blue one. That's just too much. That'd be too blue. Okay, because I do have a little bits of pops of blue throughout, but I don't think I want to go that blue with it. Okay, let's see. So, I don't know if I have these in my links down below, but I'll make sure to put them down there for you guys. And if I don't have them down, just let me know. Uh, but I just get them on Amazon. So I just feather that I like and just tuck it. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. You can see that. Okay. And let's see. I'll just put one up under here. I'm just kind of just tucking it underneath like that. Just work things around where you want it. I really do like these little polka dot ones. So maybe we'll add a couple. Just little ones here. See if I can find a little baby one. That one's kind of cool, huh? I'm just going through and just poking some feathers in. There we go. Okay. There. I'm liking that. All right. Okay. So we got our feathers in. Let's see. I'm going to take my closure because this is going to be part of our closure <clears throat> and I would definitely show you guys how that's going to work out. So I'm going to go up like this with it and I'm just going to glue it on here for now. Just give it a good glue down and I'm going to use the E6000 Fabric Fuse. This helps <clears throat> with like heavier things that you're going to uh, you know, like metal and different things like that and uh, things that you want to stay really secure because this is going to be pulled on. So I don't want it to pop off of there. So I'm going to put some glue here. Holy moly. That was a lot of glue that came out. Hold on. Got it on my finger. I'll just use that. Let's get out our little wet wipe here. That's okay, it's gonna get covered because we're gonna put our um, little cluster on top of here, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay. I made a fun little mess. So I'm just gonna take it glue it here. 
ขันนั่นนะ <coughs> Excuse me. I have a Q-tip, so you can just kind of go through and get all the oozies, the just the ooziness that's going out of the side here. Q-tips in here. Not a bad thing to keep into your craft room or craft area. Okay. They come in handy. All right, so. There we go. So I just went ahead and glued it on there. And then we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna set it to the side and let it dry. It wouldn't even be a bad idea to clamp it with something. Let me find a clip for it and I'll be right back. I went ahead and just clamped it just till it dries. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this over to the side here. Now, what I wanna do is go ahead and play with our stencil. on the inside, right here, and feather stencil, and I have some palette knives here. I think I'm going to use this one. I don't know yet. I got both of them. I just have different kinds here. Okay, so let's see. Do I want to go like this with it? Let's go like that. So we'll just go to the point here. Okay. Maybe I want it like that. Okay. And then we'll just go to like here. All right. So we got our speckling. Okay, so mine is pink and it dries clear when it's dry. So that's always good to know, right? So I'm just gonna take some here, get some on my palette knife. And I'm just gonna make sure where I hold this down, it's not gonna move, okay? There we go. I think that turned out pretty cool. And you're gonna to wanna to wash your stencil off pretty quickly because uh, the spackling will dry on it pretty fast. So just get off all the little extra bits here and just rinse it under warm water. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so you can see that it's white now and 
and it's pretty much dry. I mean, you got some parts that are a little thicker that I'll just have to let it sit overnight. But I took my heat gun to it also and dried it a little bit. And it's kind of got little cracks going through it, which I think is kind of cool. I think that's kind of fun. Okay, so I got that done. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. That helps me out so, so much. It gets my video out there more so other people can make a feather leather journal. And yeah, comment down below. I'd love to hear if you guys made one or tag me at, you know, Snowstorm Crafts. And I'd love to see a picture of what you guys made and stuff. And yeah, I love hearing from you guys. Okay, so now what I want to do is let's go ahead and add... A little cluster right here. Okay, so I think it's good and dry now. I let it sit for a little bit. Okay, so I kind of want to see where all this is going to hit. I don't want stuff covering her face up and things like that. So let's look here. So that's going to look really cool, huh? Definitely a feather leather journal. All right, so let's see. So I think we'll just glue it down like this. I like that spot. Be easier to open it like that. Okay, and I just have my fiber fix glue. Glue to the back piece of fabric here. Check real quick. Yeah, that seems like a good spot. Okay, so I like that. So let's just press it down. And then if you want, you could go through and like, if you see any things that you want to maybe glue that you don't want moving back here. You can kind of pop some glue down. Just press it. Like this paper. Glue that like there. And I know there's a piece of paper up here. That is looking really cool. Okay. What do you guys think of that? Is that fun? Okay. Just make sure nothing else is glued where you don't want it to be glued. Okay. Now, I want to show you guys the closure part. This with it, like that. Yeah, that works. I like that spot. And she's peeking out. I think that's turned out really cool. Okay. So I have my elastic here. And this is just some um, like jewelry elastic, and it was yellow, and I dyed it with coffee. I just coffee dyed it. Stick it through our little eye screw here. It's just like a little eyelet screw. Okay. And I am not sure how long I want this yet, so let's just kind of give it a little 
little tie here. And then we can adjust it. Okay. So it just goes through just like that. And then you just take it and pop it around. It's as easy as that. So there we go. And then I'll make sure after I get my signature and everything that we're, we're going to finish it off. I don't want to tie this too tight because then by the end of it, I'll see how thick it is and stuff and then I'll adjust it. But it's as easy as that, guys. You just go through your little eyelet screw here with your elastic and then just pop it around. And then there you go. You got yourself a little closure. So I hope you guys found this informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting. <laughs>